everyone, welcome back. I'm Miss Cynthia. I believe most of you would have just completed your mid-year examination. While completing your comprehension paper, how many of you realised that you were met with a major roadblock at the end of the paper? The last question! The final questions at the end of the comprehension papers could be more demanding than the rest of the questions. Today, I will share with you the three common types of questions that may appear as the last question in your comprehension paper. I hope this video will provide you with some guidance on what you should look out for. So, the three common types of questions that may appear as the last question in your comprehension paper are Firstly, a yes or no plus support with evidence type of question. For example, do you think Mozasu wanted to be the writer's friend all along? Support your answer with one piece of evidence from the text. Secondly, explain a quote plus support with evidence type of question. For example, explain what the writer meant when he said, Edgar was the light that shone through the darkness. Support your answer with information from the passage. Thirdly, a character traits plus explanation question. For example, what is one adjective you can provide to describe Mrs. Pox? Explain your choice with one piece of evidence from the text. Now, let me share with you two similarities I have observed for such questions. Firstly, such questions usually have two parts. Mark allocation would usually range between two and three marks. Secondly, such questions usually require the students to have a good understanding of their requirements. I'll be talking about this in more detail for each question type. Do note that for these questions, they also require a global comprehension of the text. It means to be able to tackle these questions well, there must be a good overall understanding of what the text is about. The first type of question is a yes or no plus support with evidence type of question. In my previous blog post, I shared how a yes or no plus support with evidence type of question can be tackled using six steps. If you'd like to learn more about this step-by-step -step guide, click on the link below. Now, consider the question below. Do you think Mozasu wanted to be the writer's friend all along? Support your answer with one piece of evidence from the text. The first part of the question requires a yes or no response. However, students are to take note that no marks will be awarded if the evidence does not support the response. For example, yes, Mozasu wanted to be the writer's friend all along. The evidence is when Mozasu saw the writer, he immediately went to receive him at the door. Note how the evidence, he immediately ran to receive him at the door, does not explain that Mozasu wanted to make friends with the writer. No marks will be awarded even if the first part of the question is correct. Also, students will have to understand that direct listing should be avoided. Use the clues in the passage to show how Mozasu wanted to befriend the writer. For example, yes, Mozasu wanted to be the writer's friend all along. The evidence is, he invited the writer to sit with him during lunch and asked if he wanted to play together. For this example, the evidence showed how Mozasu wanted to be friends with the writer. The second type is explaining a quote plus support of evidence question. Such question type will require you to explain the meaning behind the quote. Now consider the question below. Explain what the writer meant when he said, Edgar was the light that shone through the darkness. Support your answer with information from the passage. Firstly, for such question type, students will have to consider the quote carefully and explain what it means. Next, pick the correct clues from the passage to support the explanation in the first part. For example, the writer meant that Edgar brought hope to the people during their period of suffering. Edgar taught the people skills such as irrigation to grow crops during the drought. For this example, the quote is explained and information was picked out accurately to support the explanation. When explaining the quote, students are to take note that keywords will have to be explained. Mere repetition of the keywords will mean a failure to understand what the quote means. For example, the writer meant that Edgar was a light that shone during the period of darkness. Note how the keywords light, shone, and darkness were repeated. There was no explanation of the quote. Also, students who fail to provide the correct evidence will not secure the full two marks. Hence, ensure that you have highlighted the correct clues to support your explanation. For example, the writer meant that Edgar brought hope to the people during their period of suffering. The people learned to grow crops. Note how the information, the people learn to grow crops, does not support how Edgar had brought them hope. The third type is a character traits plus explanation question. Such questions usually require you to make an inference and provide a suitable vocabulary to describe the character. Consider the question below. 
What is one adjective you can use to describe Mrs. Potts? Explain your choice with one piece of evidence from the text. The first part of the question requires students to come up with an appropriate word to describe the character. These are some common character traits. Next, it is important that there is evidence to support the choice of word. By giving the appropriate adjective, you will be able to secure one mark. For example, Mrs. Potts is a selfless person. One mark is awarded for the correct choice of word. It is important to pick out the right clues to support the choice of word. Hence, students are encouraged to consider the clues carefully before answering the question. For example, Mrs. Potts is a selfless person. She ensured that everyone had left the burning building before she made her way out. To secure the full two marks, the clue has to support the choice of word well. We have come to the end of the video. I do hope that this video has provided you with some useful information on how you can tackle these demanding questions better. Moving forward, such questions are also common in secondary school papers. Hence, you should persevere because you are just going to get better. I'll see you again. Bye!